I stopped by Rocco Termini's brand new restaurant to get a bite out of doggy style. Uh, we asked a little bit about where the name came from and what people can expect, so take a look. Tucked near the corner of Oak and Genesee in the city of Buffalo, this once vacant lot has been transformed into Buffalo's newest restaurant. It's doggy style and we have the inside scoop. I saw this out west where they're using a lot of uh, storage containers uh, for small retail. And I thought we could do this in Buffalo. Only to find out that because of our weather it would be rather difficult. So what we did was we recreated shipping containers. Uh, and when you come in here, you feel like you're in a shipping container. This is not a hot dog stand. This is a hot dog restaurant. And in other cities throughout the country, there are hot dog restaurants. This will be the first hot dog restaurant in Buffalo. And people will get accustomed to having hot dogs other than just summertime. All right, so I'm gonna put you on the spot. Tell me where the inspiration for the name came from. I wanted to do something fun uh, and something that would be catchy. Uh, and what we really, our intention was to have a hot dog dressed up in a tuxedo, hence doggy style. Uh, and all of our logos and everything, our sign on the outside of the building has a hot dog dressed in a tuxedo. But we can't ignore the innuendo with the name, can we? No, we can't. That's the fun. And it's all about fun, making downtown a fun place to come and go. Growing up in Buffalo like I did, there's one food that reigns supreme, and that is the chicken wing. But we're challenging you out there today to think about a different legacy, and that's the legacy of the hot dog. Rocco, what is the connection between Western New York and hot dogs? I think uh, the real connection is charcoal broiled hot dogs. People come from all over the United States to come to Buffalo and have a charcoal broiled hot dog. And we're gonna have charcoal broil hot dogs that not only are the standard hot dog, but we will have a lamb hot dog that's Greek inspired. Uh, we'll have a veggie hot dog, a seafood hot dog. We have foot long hot dogs. So we have a, a real variety of different hot dogs, which we refer to as our gourmet hot dogs. So what went into planning the menu and taking that backyard barbecue hot dog and stepping it up a notch? Well, we saw what was happening in other major cities in the country, and this is something that's very familiar to other cities. In uh, Los Angeles, there's Pink, and there's other uh, places in Chicago. So we wanted to replicate what they were doing, and we think it'll be very successful here in Buffalo. Doggy style may be the first of his kind in Buffalo, but Rocco Termini and his team are doing something they've done before, transforming an unused space into a place where people want to be. This really means bringing more people downtown. Uh, we have other restaurants downtown, and 50 to 60 percent of our uh, customers are from the suburbs, and we want to make downtown a regional attraction where people want to come. 